Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this little dress for a baby between 12 and 24 months. It's very easy to make. I used cotton thread number three with a four millimeter crochet hook. If you like to make this little dress a little bit bigger, just use light number three yarn with a five millimeter crochet hook and you'll get an approximate size of two to three years. And remember that the sizes that I give you, it's an approximate size based on my internet research and since not all babies are the same size. Okay, so without further say, let's get started and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, we need a four millimeter crochet hook and today I'm going to use this light number three cotton yarn um, by this brand. I had to order this online. If you prefer to purchase at a store, I bought this softy baby cotton yarn by Bernat at Joann's. It's a light number three, so you can use that as well. Or if you want, you can also use a light number three baby yarn. Okay, so to begin, I have 70 chains here. This chain measures 37 centimeters, which is about 14.5 inches. Okay, and to begin on the second chain from the hook, we're going to start by making a single crochet, a single crochet into the next chain, and a single crochet into each one of these chains. At the end of this first row, you should have a total of 69 single crochets. So continue like this. I will meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to complete this first row and start on our second row. Okay, I'm here at the end of the first row. I have a total of 69 single crochets. Now for the second row, I'm going to chain three. I'm going to turn and here I'm going to skip two single crochets, one, two, and into the third, I'm going to make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, okay, and then again, skip one, two, and into the third, a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. This is all you're going to do, just make these V stitches by skipping two and into the third, making a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Okay, so continue like this until the end of the second row. I will meet you there to show you how we're going to complete the second row and start on our third row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. I have a total of 22 V stitches plus these three chains that we have at the beginning. So to complete this second row, all you need to do is into the last single crochet, which is the third single crochet, make a double crochet. And this is how we complete the second row. Now for the third row, you're going to chain three, you're going to turn, and now for this third row, inside each one of these V stitches, we have this chain. So inside each one of them, you're going to make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Okay, and then the next one, same thing. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. This is all you're going to do for this third row. So continue like this all the way to the end. I will meet you there to show you how we're going to complete the third row and start on our fourth row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row. I have a total of 22 fans for this third row. Now, to finish this row, all I'm going to do is a double crochet here into this last chain of these three chains that we have here at the end. And that's how I complete this third row. Now, for the fourth row, we're going to chain three we're going to turn and inside each one of these chain one spaces of each one of these fans, we're going to do the following. We're going to make three double crochets, one, two, three, chain two, and back again into the same space, three double crochets, one, two, three, 
two, three. And into the next chain one space of the next fan, same thing, three double crochets, three, two chains, three double crochets. Okay, so continue like this all the way to the end. I will meet you there to show you how we're going to complete this fourth row and start on our fifth row. Okay, I'm here at the end of the fourth row and to complete this row, all I'm going to do is a double crochet here into this last chain of these three chains that we have here at the end. And this is how I complete the fourth row. Now for the fifth row, we're going to chain three, turn, and inside each one of these chain two spaces of each one of these fans, we're going to make eight double crochets. So beginning here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. and then into the next chain two space of the next fan same thing eight double crochets okay so continue like this all around I will meet you here to show you how we're going to complete this fifth row and start on our sixth row okay I'm here at the end of the fifth row I'm just going to finish by making a double crochet here on this last chain of these three chains that we have here at the end and this is how I complete the fifth row now for the sixth row we're going to chain three we're going to turn and now what we're going to do is between each one of these double crochets there's a space so between each one of them we're going to make a double crochet chain one and then into the next space, double crochet, chain one, 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 and double crochet. Okay, and here's the first fan. So we have not including the three chains, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven double crochet separated by one chain. Okay, so now here we're going to jump into the next fan, and here we have this first space. We're going to go in and make a double crochet, but notice that we're not making a chain in this particular space. Okay, now we will. We're going to chain one and we're going to continue along this fan doing the same thing we just did for the first one. Okay, so continue like this all the way to the end. I will meet you there to show you how we're going to complete the sixth row and start on our seventh row. Okay, I'm here at the end of the sixth row and to complete this row, all you're going to do is a double crochet here into this last chain of these three chains that we have here at the end. And this is how we complete the sixth row. Now for the seventh and final row, we're going to chain one, we're going to turn, and immediately into this first double crochet that's here, we're going to make a single crochet. And now we're going to chain three. And into this first chain one space, we're going to make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet into the next chain one space, chain three, single crochet into the next chain one space, chain three, single crochet into the next chain one space, chain three, single crochet into the next chain one space, three chains, and single crochet into this next or this last chain one space. And this is what it looks like. This is all we're going to do for each one of these double crochets. Okay, so here we have this next fan, so in between we're not going to do anything, no chain, no nothing, we're just going to jump into this first chain one space of the next fan and make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet into this next chain one space, chain three, 
single crochet into the next chain one space. You're going to continue like this all the way to the end. I will meet you there to show you what it looks like. I'm here at the end of the seventh row and to complete this row I chained three and here into this last chain of these three chains we have I'm going to make a single crochet. Okay so this is the last row for this part of our yoke. Okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to make single crochets along this part here. So beginning here we're going to chain one into this first chain one space we're going to make three single crochets. So one two, three, into the next double crochet, same thing, three single crochets, two, three, into the next chain threes, we're going to make three single crochets. This next one is a double crochet, you're going to make three single crochets, And then this last one here, chain three space, also three single crochets. And then here, this is a chain, so in there we're going to make a single crochet. And this is how we complete this first row. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so now we're going to do two more rows. So chain one, turn, and into this first single crochet, a single crochet, and now you're just going to make single crochets into each one of these single crochets until you come here at the end. When you're here at the end, you're going to chain one and turn and then work again single crochets until you're up here again. I will meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third um, row. I think I'm going to do one more. So I'm going to chain one, I'm going to turn, and then here I'm going to skip one, two, and into the third, I'm going to make my next single crochet. Um, this is so that this corner is nice and round. Okay, so continue just making single crochets here. When you come to the end, just cut your yarn because what we're going to do next is we're going to um, do the other side. Okay, Okay. I finished this fourth row. Um, I just cut my yarn and just slipped it through this last um, loop that I had there. So now here, now we're going to do this other side. So you can either start from here or you can start from down here. I think I'm going to start from down here. Um, into this first single crochet that we have here, I'm going to introduce this loop and I'm going to make one chain. And into this next chain three space that's right here I'm going to make three single crochets one two three and then into the next chain three space one two three and then into the next space same thing one two three single crochets and into the next Space, same thing, three single crochets. One, two, three, and then here, same thing. One, two, three, and then I'm just going to make one single crochet here. Okay, and this is what it looks like. Okay, so now we're going to do one more row chain one, turn, and into this next single crochet, a single crochet, and do single crochets all the way down here. I will meet you here to show you how we're going to do the third row, since on the third row we're going to make our buttonholes. Okay, so now here I'm at the end of the second row, so I'm going to chain one and turn, and into this next single crochet, I'm going to make a single crochet. And then here I'm going to chain one and I'm going to skip this single crochet and into the next I'm going to make a single crochet. This is going to be my buttonhole. Since I'm using a very small button, this is enough for me. If you're going to use a bigger button, um, try it and see if it'll go through. If not, do two chains and skip two single crochets and into the third continue working um, up to do your next um, buttonhole. So here I'm just going to continue making single crochets until I come here to the end. Okay. 
Okay, so here um, I have two left, so I'm going to chain one and into the next, which is this last one, I'm going to single crochet. And that's how I complete this part here. So now one more row, so chain one, turn, and here immediately into this chain one space, I'm going to make my single crochet and then continue my way down until I come here to the end. Remember here you're going to do a single crochet and go into the next one. You're going to finish this part off, cut your yarn, and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to divide our sleeves. So I'll show you that next. Okay, so now that we have these two sides done, I've put them together and this um, one here right on top is the one where we have the buttonholes, okay? So make sure you do the same. And I just put a stitch marker there to hold it in place. So now that we did that, we're going to join these two together right here at the very end. And I'm going to insert my hook. I have a loop here ready that I'm going to bring through the front, just like this. And now I'm just going to make one chain, but I'm going to pull on this and so that to make sure that it's nice and tight. And now here I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. Okay. Okay, so now here what we're going to do is we're going to work a double crochet separated by one chain into each one of these double crochet that make up these fans. Okay, so beginning here, we're going to make our first one. So double crochet chain one into the next one double crochet chain one and same thing for the next one okay so you're going to continue like this until you have a total of 17 double crochets separated by one chain I will meet you around here to show you what we need to do next we finished making 17 double crochets separated by one chain. So now here we're going to chain three and we're going to skip 43 of these double crochets. So just count them until you come here to the 44th double crochet, which is this one here where I have a stitch marker. So in there you're going to make a double crochet, chain one, and then continue along this front side, just making double crochets separated by one chain. For this part here, you're going to make a total of 34 double crochets separated by one chain. I will meet you here to show you how we're going to divide this other sleeve. Okay, I finished making 34 double crochets separated by one chain along this side. So now for this um, other side, where we have our next sleeve, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And here we're going to skip 43 double crochets along this side here. So into the 44th double crochet, which is this one here where I have a stitch marker, we're going to make a double crochet, chain one, and then a double crochet into the next double crochet, chain one. You're going to make 17 double crochets for this um, last part that we have. So I will meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to complete this first row and start on our second row. Okay, so I finished making the last 17 stitches on this side. In, um, in total, you should have 102 double crochets all around separated by one chain. Okay, so if you by chance have um, a mistake and you have less or you have more, um, don't worry about it as long as you separated the sleeves in the same way and they all have the same number of stitches all around, you should be okay. Okay, so now for the second row, or here to complete this row, let me show you how you're going to complete. So here, to complete this first row, just chain one and then join to the beginning here where um, we have these chains with a slip stitch. And there it is, that's how we complete this row. Now for the second row, you're going to chain three, you're going to turn, and immediately in this very first space that's right there, we're going to make one double crochet. Okay, the three chains already counts as one double crochet. So now we're going to go into the next space, which is this one here, and we're going to work two double crochets. One, 
two, chain one, two double crochets. Okay, now we're going to skip one, chain one space, and into the next chain one space, you're going to make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Okay, now skip this next and into the next chain one space, you're going to make the same thing. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Okay, so continue like this until you come to the first sleeve, which is right here. I'll meet you here to show you how we're going to work this part. Okay, so now to work this part here right underneath the um, sleeve, my last fan was right here, so I'm going to skip this chain one space and into this chain three space, I'm going to make my fan. So two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Okay, so this is how we're going to work this um, part here. So now I'm just going to go into this next chain one space and I'm going to make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Okay, so now skip this next chain one space and into the next, just make your fans. Okay, so two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. So continue like this um, for this part here. I will meet you here right underneath the next sleeve to show you how we're going to work this next sleeve. Okay, so I'm about to work this other sleeve. My last fan was right here. I'm going to skip this chain one space and inside the chain three space right here, I'm going to make my fan. So two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Now, if for some reason your last fan is here, just skip the three chains and into the next chain one space, just work your next fan. You're going to do the exact same thing you did on this side. You're going to do it here on this other side. Okay, so here after you're done doing your, I think I forgot to make one chain here. Two double crochets. So after you do your fan here, I'm going to go into this first chain one space and make my fan. So two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Okay, and then skip this next chain one space and into the next my fan. So continue along this side. I will meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to complete the second row. Okay, I'm about to complete the second row. Um, my last fan is here. I'm going to skip this chain one space and into this next chain one space that's here, I'm going to make two double crochets. One, two. Okay, if for some reason your last fan is here, don't worry about it. Just make two double crochets here into this next space. And then here I'm going to chain one and I'm going to join here to the beginning with a slip stitch. Okay, and this is how we complete the second row. Now for the third row, we're going to turn. And here what you're going to do is you're going to make a slip stitch into this next chain one space chain three, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, double crochet. Okay, and then go into the next chain one space of this next fan and make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. This is all you're going to do for this third row, so continue like this. I will meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to complete this row and start on our fourth row. Mama. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row, and to complete this row and any other rows that follow, you're just going to join here to the beginning with a slip stitch. And that's how we complete this row. Now for the next row, row four, and the rows that follow, you're going to turn. Um, at this point, I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do, but you're going to repeat the exact same thing that I'm going to show you now. So here into this next double crochet, or this first double crochet that's right here, I'm going to make a slip stitch. 
a slip stitch into the next and a slip stitch into the next. Chain three, double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. Okay, so here's our first fan for this fourth row. And now again into the next chain one space, same thing, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Okay, so continue like this all around for this fourth row. You're going to finish this row the exact same way I just showed you how to complete the third row, and you're going to start your fifth row in the same way we did um, for the fourth row. Um, I will let you know here right now how many rows I'm going to do for my dress, so I will meet you at the end of that row to show you what it looks like and to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the 18th row. I have a total of 17 fan rows. Remember that the first row is where we divided our sleeve, so it's just a row of double crochets. So a, a total of 17 fan rows. So now here to complete this 18th row, I'm just going to join here to the beginning with a slip stitch. And this is how I complete the 18th row. Now for rows 19, this is what you're going to do. Oh, but before the skirt measures 23 centimeters, which is about nine inches, you can do more rows. Just make sure that the last row that you do is worked on the right side because this next row that we're going to, to work is going to be done on the wrong side of the dress. Okay, so now here, I'm going to chain one. Okay, so now we have this fan which has four double crochets. The first double crochet, we're going to make a front post double crochet. And inside the chain one space, we're going to make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Okay, and then the last double crochet, we're going to make again a front post double crochet. Okay, and then we have the next fan with four double crochets. The first double crochet, we're going to make a front post double crochet inside the chain one space a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Then this last double crochet, we're going to make a front post double crochet. And then we have the next fan, same thing. Front post double crochet, double crochet inside the chain one space, chain one, double crochet. And then this last double crochet, a front post double crochet. So this is how you're going to continue for this 19th row. I will meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to complete this row and start on our 20th row. Okay, I'm here at the end of the 19th row. Right here, all you're going to do to complete this row is make a slip stitch right here where we have this chain um, that we did at the beginning. And this is how we complete this 19th row. Now for row 20, we're going to chain three and inside this chain one space, we're not going to turn or anything immediately into this first chain one space. We're going to make a single crochet, chain three, and then back again into the same space, a single crochet, chain three, and then you're going to skip this space and into the next, which is this one here, you're going to make a single crochet, chain three, And then into the chain one space, a single crochet, chain three, and then back again into that same space, a single crochet, chain three, skip this space, and into the next space, a single crochet. This is all you're going to do for this 20th row. Um, continue like this. I will meet you here at the end to show you what it looks like and show you our finished dress. Okay, I'm almost done here. All I need to do is just join here to the beginning with a slip stitch and then just pass this through this last loop. Um, I had only this little bit of yarn left, so I used about 200 grams of yarn to make this little dress. Okay, so here's our little dress. I've already put my buttons and I think I'm going to use this as the front. Um, I like the way that this turned out. So here it is. This is what it looks like. And here's the trim that we just did around the bottom of the skirt. There it is. Okay, so this has been today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing. Until next time.